Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. So I apologize for last Thursday. Um, hopefully you guys have seen my Facebook post. We had to take my brother-in-law into the hospital. He wasn't doing good. We still don't really have a whole lot of information. Um, my husband and I are taking shifts on who stays with him. I just got off shift. My husband is on shift for the next few days because I have to work. So it's just been kind of back and forth. And I really thought about canceling tonight's live because I just wanted to lay down and go to sleep. But I was like, no, I need to get out and do what we were going to do on Thursday. So even though celebration is over, um, I am still going to do the card that I was planning on doing on Thursday because it is super duper cute. And I didn't get really much time out in the craft room the last few days. So actually the last week, I have not been out here at all. So thank you so much for all of the text messages and the instant messages and the phone calls and everything. Um, totally appreciate it. If I didn't get a chance to respond, it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's just a lot going on right now. But I am so glad I am with you guys this evening. And welcome. So today's card is a celebration designer series paper and stamp set. I know it celebration ended yesterday, but we're still going to play with it because it is super duper cute and I can't wait to show you guys. Hello, Kelly. Hello, Jane and Anna. If you're just logging on, say hi so I know you're here. Um, hopefully you guys have had a great week. Um, let me know what's going on in your guys' life. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what's going on in my life right now. But if you have anything exciting, message me and tell me because I want to know all about it. So I am going to flip you over because we hopefully will get three cards put together tonight. Um, and if not, I'll try to get the others put together and I'll show you guys all of the finished projects. Okay, so let me bring in, this is the stamp set we're going to be using. Hold on, I'm going to make sure we are live on my iPad and everything is good. Okay, so we are using the Island Vibes. This pineapple, I swear to you, has got to be one of my favorite. And I'm really sad I didn't get this set prior to like a week before celebration ended. Um, I love this pineapple. So stinking cute. There is no sentiment in this. So I brought in um, the friends. So I will show you what we're going to be making with it. So there's a couple ways that we can do this card. So, oh, hold on. Hello, Darlene and Valerie. Hello, everybody. Um, okay, so there's a couple ways that we can do this card. So you flip this open and I put a gift card in here. You could also, I didn't attach this either. You could also just make this be your card and not attach it to a card base. So there's a couple different possibilities for this. So we're gonna kind of do both of them. You could really even attach this down and leave your gift card to slide inside. But I just thought it was so fun, cute, and different. You could put a piece of your Whisper White or Very Vanilla on the inside and you could write your sentiment on there with your gift card. So that is what we're gonna be making today. So let me bring in the designer series paper. So this piece is cut five and a quarter, and it's literally a smidgen smaller than four inches. So I brought my little handy dandy ruler, so I'm gonna line it up, and it's actually um, three and seven eighths. So two little lines under four. Um, I did that so we could have this small little gap in the center, so that's why I made it just a smidgen smaller. Let me push all this back in. Okay, so this is your designer series paper. It's five and a quarter by four and seven eighths, just a, or three and seven eighths, just a smidgen under four. And usually when we um, do diagonal, I usually cut from the right down to the left. But this card, you have to actually cut it from the left corner down to the right corner. And it took me a couple tries, I won't lie, because I always want to cut from this side, but it won't work if you cut it on that side. So we're going to start with the left tip. We're going to put your left tip right in the edge and I'm going to pivot. Hopefully you guys can see 
that. I'm going to pivot the bottom right corner, close your lid, and we're going to cut that. So that is how we are going to get our two edges. And you could definitely flip this over. I used two different um, designer series papers. Um, hold on, let me pull them all out. So I used two different, oh, actually that one I didn't, I lied. But this one I did, they're two different um, sheets. But the one, that one, I didn't. Okay, so how we're gonna do this to get the gift card, we're gonna flip our bottom piece over and we're gonna grab some tear and tape and we're going to just line it on the bottom Trim that off, and I'm going to come up here and line it on the side. You could definitely use um, your green glue to do this as well. I just didn't want to forget and put glue on the whole thing like I would usually do. So that's why I decided to pull in the tear tape. And I didn't give this measurement. This is four inches by five and a quarter. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to tuck this down right at the corner. There we go. So now we have our little pockets. Now this guy, we can use the green glue and put glue on the whole thing. And we're just going to come up, tuck this up into the corner and line it up. Perfection. There we go. Didn't that card look a little bit harder than it really is? It's crazy how easy it is. So this piece is um, pear pizzazz and I cut it three inches by eight and a half and I scored it right at four and a quarter. So you're just gonna fold it, give that a good crease and this is what's going to go on the inside. Isn't that kind of cute? So you could really just use this as your card base and slide it in your envelope and you're done. But I did bring some designer or some cardstock over, so we are going to attach this one. So I brought in another piece of um, designer series paper. This is two and three fourths by four. And I'm just going to attach it to the front. Thank you, Jessica. Hello, Vicki. Attach this to the front. And our card is almost done and all we have to do is decorate it. So this is very vanilla, which I don't use very vanilla very often. Whew, that was a lot of berries. Um, but this is four and a quarter by 11 and I scored it right in half at five and a half. Crease that. And we're gonna glue this down. Super easy, but it looks, it, I consider this a wow card. I would definitely consider this a wow fancy roll. And it was super duper easy. So our card is completely done. We just need to decorate it. So I am just gonna kind of give you a couple little tips on fussy cutting. We're not gonna fussy cut this whole bad boy because everybody kind of knows how to fussy cut. Oh, and I just inked that up in black. I'm a goofball. Let me clean it because we don't want a black pineapple. I mean, I guess you could, but that's not what I was intending to do. And it looks like I only brought Flurry Flamingo, and that's okay. I'm just showing you guys how to fussy cut. So I'm going to ink this up in Flurry Flamingo, and I'm just going to stamp it. And then I'm going to come in with the friends, and I'm going to ink up the whole thing. This one I'm going to ink up in Mementos. And I'm going to come over here and stamp that. Perfect. That's actually all we need to ink for, even though we're not going to use Flurry Flamingo on this card. But, okay. So fussy cutting. What I usually do is you don't move your scissors. You only want to move your paper that you're cutting. So I'm going to try to leave a little edge around it. So when you're fussy cutting, it doesn't, ha it won't show all of your mistakes. So now I'm just going to come around and I'm going to get the majority of this out of the way. So 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and just move my paper around to cut around the little topper of the pineapple. Can you see how I'm only moving my paper? I'm not moving my scissors. You do have to move your scissors a little bit just to scoop the blade up. But for the most part, I'm literally just moving my paper. So that is how I quickly fussy cut it. I don't think that's a word, but it is today. The pineapple. So there you go. And now the friends. I didn't want friends. I just wanted the friend. So I came in and I snapped off that S. And then I did the same thing. I'm literally just moving my paper around. So I'm going to get a nice pretty border. So there you go. I didn't want to just sit and fussy cut all of them in, on the live. So I pre-did them. I should have did like abracadabra, kind of super quick and fast, but I forgot. Okay, so now we are going to grab some dimensionals and I am going to put three dimensionals on this guy. And I'm going to put him right in the center. And this is actually pear pizzazz. I inked him up in pear pizzazz and I wanted the letters to be bold and bright. Sorry, my kids are all texting in a group chat. So you'll probably hear my phone go off quite a bit. Um, I wanted the friend to be bold, so I decided to do it in just the black. So I only put dimensionals on the F and the D. I should have known that. Because I want to show you, I'm going to pick it up. And I'm going to set it right in the center. I don't want too many dimensionals to have it lifted too high. So now it is just attached and sitting on top of the pineapple. So now you can lift this up, grab your gift card, slide it in, and still have a place to write your sentiment if you want to. So super easy, right? I thought it was so fun. You could really even attach this to the front of it. Um, you would just have to make a little um, pocket for your gift card or put a mini glue dot on the back of it and put it on there. But I actually liked it better on the inside. Okay, let's do, I couldn't decide which color was my ultimate favorite. So that's why we're doing a couple of them. This is Bumblebee in Abracadabra. They're already cut out and perfect. So let's see. Oh, I didn't use the same designer series paper on this one. So I kind of just picked which two that I thought looked good together. Just make sure I am putting the tear and tape on the right side. Knowing my luck, I would glue it to the wrong side. I know, Vicki, you love the pineapples. Did you get this set? I'm sure you did. So there we go. And the tear tape is kind of sticking off the edge a little bit. So when I peel this off, I'm just going to roll it back on itself so it doesn't make my card sticky. Same on that piece. Roll it back. And now we can attach. The only bad thing about using tear and tape, oh, you have no wiggle room. You have no wiggle room when it comes to tear tape. Once it's down, it is down. So we may not have the nicest border on this one, but we'll see. So make sure you have it exactly where you want it. No, I think it'll still work. Nobody's gonna say, oh, your card is off just a hair. And if they do, take your card back. Don't give it to them. So this is the basic black and it's three by eight and a half and I scored it right in half at four and a quarter. Get your bone folder, give that a good crease. Slide this in. I actually love Bumblebee and Blue, our night and navy and the Bumblebee together. So I think that would actually be a beautiful combination as well. I love blue and yellow together. There we go. Flip that 
over, grab some dimensionals. Thank you for all the hearts and the thumbs up. I totally appreciate it. And if you have any crafting friends out there that you think might like something like this, please feel free to share my video. I actually have a YouTube channel as well. I think it's just Sarah Edwards. I don't think it's creating with Sarah. I think somebody else stole that right out from underneath me. Just kidding. Um, I think there's already a creating with Sarah, so I think it's just Sarah Edwards. But all of my Facebook Lives are on YouTube. Actually, probably for the last year, maybe a little bit longer. So if you're ever looking for something and don't want to have to scroll through Facebook to find it, you can always find it on YouTube. So this is tone on tone. Oh, you know what? You're never going to even know that I kind of messed up that edge because looky there. It's tone on tone. Nobody's ever going to see that. Can you really see it? Unless I totally point it out. You can't. There we go. There's card number two. Okay, last one. And then I'll let everybody get to their evening. I actually haven't eaten dinner. Bo's obviously at the hospital. So I am going to go in heat up dinner and probably go to bed. It's kind of crazy um, to think on how much you miss your shower, your bathroom, your bed when you're in a hospital room. You do miss those luxuries. So I'm gonna adhere this. And I actually thought these cards would be super cute to mail to my kids. Um, I like to just do little things every now and then for them, just to show them how much I love them and how much they mean to me. Even though they're my daughters, they're still my friends. So I actually might stop and get a couple Starbucks gift cards and send them one. I did when I was there today, um, when I left the hospital, I needed some good coffee. My son-in-law's birthday is next month, so I did stop and get him a gift card while I was thinking about it. One of my son-in-laws, we have three. Well, two and a half. The third one's getting married. And I know Vicki actually, I think does that too, just sends her son little things every now and then. Perfect. So these cards are super quick, super easy, and I think they are so fun. And different. I actually um, saw something similar to this online. I really don't know how hers opened, but I liked this look on the front of it, and then I kind of created it myself, I guess. I don't know. I don't know the name of it, if there is a name. I just know they're fun, and I like making fun things. I like making fun things that put a smile on people's face. But I do love how that basic black and that blurry flamingo, how it pops. And I'm just going to put two of our mini dimensionals on one side and one on the other. And that will get it so it just fits perfect over the dimensionals we use to do the pineapple. Okay, last step is to put it on our card base. And we probably did three cards in, let's see what time is it, in 20 minutes. Not too shabby. There we go. So, let's put this gift card in here. Hopefully I don't forget to take this gift card out. I don't even know if there's anything on it. That'd be hilarious if I sent it to my kids. Um, it's empty. Oh, mom used it first. Put that one inside. Those are the only two I have up here. But that's okay. Let me get all of this out of the way so I can put the fun cards that we made. And you could really glue this piece down if you wanted to. Um, I kind of like it just kind of floating and being all a little wonky. So those two are the same and these two are different, all using the same designer series paper that I didn't bring in. It's the Celebration Daffodils Afternoon. So yeah, there you go. Hopefully you guys liked your live. It was super fun to put together and 
I apologize that I didn't get it made prior to celebration ending, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows the situation we're in right now. So I totally appreciate the love and support everybody has given us. And I will keep you updated if we hear anything different. But I will see everybody on Thursday for another live. Fingers crossed. Everything goes okay. You will see me on Thursday for another live. If you need anything, please feel free to reach out. If I don't respond tonight, I will get to it tomorrow before I go to work, I promise. Okay, have a good night. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.